Unraveling the meaning of made of ice. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're going to explore a phrase that might sound simple but is rich in meaning and usage, made of ice. Whether you're a language learner or just curious about English expressions, this video will help you understand and use this phrase effectively in your conversations. When we say something is made of ice, we are talking about its literal composition. Ice, as you know, is the solid form of water. So, if an object is made of ice, it means it's entirely or predominantly composed of frozen water. This is common in descriptions of ice sculptures, igloos, or even natural formations like glaciers. Now, let's delve into the more intriguing aspect, the figurative use of made of ice. In English, when we describe a person as being made of ice, we're referring to their emotions and behavior. This metaphor implies that the person is cold, unemotional, or lacking in warmth. It's often used to depict someone who doesn't easily show feelings or seems distant in social interactions. To better grasp this concept, let's look at some examples. 1. Literal. The castle was made of ice, glimmering under the northern lights. 2. Figurative. Despite her success, she always seemed made of ice, never quite celebrating her achievements. Notice how the context changes the meaning of the phrase. The phrase, made of ice, is also popular in literature and media. Characters described this way often have a mysterious or formidable aura. They might be seen as strong, independent, but sometimes aloof or hard to reach emotionally. This usage helps create vivid imagery and depth in character development. And that's a wrap on Made of Ice. Whether it's describing a literal object or painting a picture of a complex human character, this phrase is a fantastic example of the richness of the English language. We hope this video has been enlightening and adds a cool new element to your linguistic toolkit. Keep practicing, and see you in our next video.